Okay, so with that, now we'll move on to the, the third section. So I have some examples of like weekly follow-ups if you want like, you know, just having the discussion, check in, how are you feeling? What's going on in life? We're talking about their habits, you know, working on some sort of a motivation, whether it be rather salihin or, or honest study and so on and so forth or, or teaching them salah. So if they want like more details, right? Let's say if they want to do more studies, they, you know, they have passed that initial phase and they, they're interested in other topics. So the New Muslim Starter Pack, it actually at the bottom, it links to, a document with further studies. So this is something that you can delegate to them based on their interest, or you can uh, you can teach them as well. So you see, for example, it talks about how to build habits. This is like a, a secular book about habit building and techniques for habit building. Uh, there's like a WhatsApp group for new Muslim content. Social media channels are here as well. And the basic series like six fillers of faith, what qualities Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves, names and attributes of Allah, the seed of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So there's different series that I kind of compile here based on when I see that new Muslims are interested in something, I keep. Yes, so so if you get the slides, inshallah, that you will see the contact information is there, inshallah. It's just coachzubair at gmail.com. Um, Okay, so you will see different series. I will add more series as well. So whenever I ask people, whenever I get asked about more series, I keep adding them here. There's a section on transforming prayers, understanding what prayer means, um, inner dimensions of salah, and so on and so forth. Some common issues that new Muslim encounter. There's a section on that. Other resources, how to learn Quran. And if they are interested in learning Arabic, then this section will walk you through some of the online resources that they can utilize to actually have a teacher that can teach them the Arabic alphabet. Obviously, if you are teaching them in person, you can always help them to find a mentor at the local masjid who can actually teach them in person. It's a section about places where they can look up fatwas and halal and haram and different things about Islamic rulings. And again, this is as the new Muslim grows, these things are there so that um, you have access to them. So as you can see here, like a message, free online. So these are some of the common issues, sharing with family, marrying non-Muslims, and so on and so forth. So they're all combined here and that you can tap into. There's a whole section on Quran and online learning resources. Uh, online institutes, for example, Distance Zeal and Quran Revolution for uh, learning Arabic. And then you also have Faith Essentials and Online Al Kothar for, you know, uh, Islamic studies, you know, very professionally recorded Islamic studies. Do I have anything else? I think, yeah, so that kind of covers that, the how component and, you know, future development. Let's see what else I want to show you here. So this is all linked from the New Muslim Starter document. Okay, now we'll talk about the third pillar or the third and fourth pillar, which is goal setting and follow-up. 